So when you say genetic diversity, that, that can mean a lot of things. Yeah, um, so for example, we know that, we go back to, you know, conditions that were in some of the children in the psychiatric hospital where I worked 20 years ago. Um, a, autism, for example, um, ha, is thought to have a heritability, so a genetic predisposition, value of something in the region of 80 to 90%. So that's a high heritability. It's got a high genetic predisposition towards it. Um, and, you know, when we look at kind of big software companies like HP, they're really focusing on having a recruitment program um, specifically aimed at recruiting people that have a, um, autism diagnosis because they, you know that they've got strengths in their way of thinking. They're generally speaking very good at, you know, focusing in and concentrating with a high level of detail to a particular issue. That's and that can be a fantastic thing to have yeah. on your team. Absolutely. Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then when you look at, and oh, there's some lovely studies from um, Gene Robinson. He's um, based in America. And he's looking at um, uh, kind of beehives. Okay. So bees in a, in a big beehive, right? If some calamity strikes the beehive, so for example, if the queen dies or if an intruder comes and starts um, invading the hive, then quite a lot of the bees will kind of get caught up in an emotional contagion and kind of like be wandering around, buzzing around frantically, not really knowing how to act. Whereas a subsection of the beehive, about 15, 20% of the bees, will just calmly get on pragmatically with the job in hand that they've been allocated to. So they won't get caught up right. in that emotional drama of what's happening there in that particular instance. And they'll just continue with the focus job that they have in hand. And those genes that are different for those particular subsection of gene, um, bees that are behaving in that way are homologous to the genetic changes that we see in individuals with autism that, again, have a very um, focused attention to detail and can work in a very concentrated way on particular tasks. So we see throughout evolution that, you know, there's different behaviours that confer different strengths that help the smooth running of a society or that help the smooth running of a hive or maybe help the smooth running of a business. And it, and it makes sense to try and tap into that difference, that diversity of thinking mm -hmm. to make the most of your hive being successful or your business being successful, which is what a lot of companies are doing now. And there's similar things. So for example, we know about ADHD um, that has a genetic predisposition again to it. It's, it's a lower value than autism. Um, but again, it's linked to entrepreneurialism, lateral thinking, innovation. And again, it can be useful to have people that have ADHD within a team because of the strengths and thinking in the way that they think as well. Right. 